coming to another episode on Karen's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. Today, I'll be taking us on how to use a sewing machine. We'll be going through step by step on how to pedal, how to make use of a sewing machine. So, let's get to work. Welcome back. Now, to make use of your sewing machine, you need to get acquainted with all the parts first. So, I'm going to take them one after the other and tell you the functions first we have the hand wheel the hand wheel and your hand wheel always must move clockwise and not anti-clockwise should always move clockwise now this hand wheel once you roll your hand wheel you discover the needle this is the needle this is the needle rod you discover it's moving so it means your hand wheel controls the parts of the needle both the needle and the needle rod also we have the lifter this is the lifter the tread lifter it also controls the, the tread lifter and here also we have the feet dog known as the seats you can see it's moving as well so it means when you have your fabric placed on the plates and your wheel is moving automatically the feed dog will move your fabric so you don't need to pull or drag your fabric to move the feed dog will do that now this is we have the bed um, the slide plates this is the slide plates and also we have the throat plates this is the throat plates so they are always together they're always together we have the bed this is the bed this is where your fabric will stay when you place your fabric to lay on the bed and we have the lifter this is the foot lifter the presser foot lifter this is the, the foot this is the foot so you have the presser foot lifter so so start your sewing you place your fabric on the bed and you bring down using the lifter you bring down the foot this is the foot like i said so you bring it down and once you roll the wheel you discover it moves you discover your fabric moves can you see that so you don't need to drag your fabric before it moves now let's move again to we have the spool pin the spool pin and this is where you place your thread you pass your thread and you have the tension this tension helps to hold and release the thread so it will just move on its own so you have the tension this is the tension and your thread comes in through the lifter and you have the thread guide just beside the face plates this is the face plates this is the plates so you have the guide and you insert your thread through the needle through the needle I'm sure you know how to do that now now we now move to the bobbin case in the bobbin case this is commonly known as the short tool and this the reeler so you insert the reeler and we have the bobbin top in the bobbin case we have the top and we have the side we have the side so you make sure they are always together and you have the cover so there is always a hook by the side just in the bobbin case you make sure it holds it down and you can easily fix your short tool yes so that's for the bobbin case now to 
to pull to bring out the thread you roll your wheel and then you pull so you have the down thread and your your upper thread so you have the two now you slide back here we have the ant stitches we have the ant stitches and it has different sizes it has different sizes you control this by the wideness of stitch you want bringing it down you have six seven eight all through to thirty so if you if you're bringing it very if you're bringing it down to the last one which is six it means you are going to have a loose stitch so it means you're going to have a loose stitch bringing it to seven eight it means you're going to have a tiny stitch so it's closer than the first stitch we had then bringing it all the way up it means you want to reverse we know it we are it's commonly known as reverse it means you want to reverse your sewing is commonly used to stitch so I'm reversing it now so this controls the stitches it controls the stitches and now we have the foot pedal this is the foot pedal and you discover once you roll the wheel your foot pedal moves as well the foot pedal moves as you roll the wheel the, the foot pedal moves as well so when you're ready to start sewing you place your leg your hand wheel tells you where to pedal first on the wheel on your foot pedal and you can pick from there either to move to the front or to the back it's, that's just it you roll the hand wheel and it tells you where to pedal it tells you where to pedal first either to the front or to the back and then you pick it from there now i'm ready to sew i have my thread ready and i have my fabric i'll place my fabric and bring down the foot and i'm going to roll the wheel it will tell me where to pedal first then i'll pick it once i start pedaling i'll use the hand stitches and like i told us it reverses the stitches then i'll pick it up again bring it down it can move faster i can take it slowly and the stitches now now oiling your machine you need to know where and which part you're to hoi we have first thing you'll notice all the holes in your machine you need just drops if you are the type that uses your machine almost every day you need just one to two drops of oil and always use the machine oil these are the parts where you need to oil in your machine oiling those parts automatically leads to all the parts in the ham, the bed, and the bobbin case. Those are the parts you need to hold in your machine i'm sure by now you know how to make use of your sewing machine 
Thanks for watching Carrie's tutorials. I hope you do enjoy the class. I still remain Simeon Grace. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos or Africa TV. So click on the subscribe button. You can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at All Africa TV. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. Thanks for watching the tutorials. Till I see you next class. Bye.